We're now going to do our first exercise in Scry to show how you do some simple data manipulation. We're going to find patients between 10 p.m. to 8 a.m. Here's a problem. You are told that ED visits between the hours of 10 p.m. to 8 a.m. will be differentially reimbursed for certain lines of business. Now assume the following. You have a complete list of all emergency department visits, the date time of triage in character format, and the insurance line of business. And what you want to find out is how many patients over the course of the year appear in the emergency room between the hours of 10 p.m. to 8 a.m., broken down by Medicare, Medicaid, and commercial. First you go to Scry. So you have both the session and data section. We're going to import some data. We're going to upload data. We're going to choose the file. And the file is going to be a CSV file that is a collection of all the ED visits experienced by a group of hospitals over a year's time. You'll notice the data appears below in a data table. You'll notice down here a log of everything that you've been doing. The first order of business is to take the character variables that are in date time and make the program recognize them as actually being a date time variable. You highlight the header and you click on Make Date. Now all the daytime variables are available to you as a date. Next step, we want to cut the daytime into the appropriate pieces. You'll see you have a number of choices here. You can bring it into a year quarter, a year month, a year week, a year day, quarter, month, day of week, or hour. And then, alternatively, you can have a free form in which you actually give it all sorts of commands. We're not going to do that this time. We're just going to use hours. And now we have a date time cut. You will notice that 1207 maps to 00. So from 12 midnight to 1 o'clock, it's 00. From 1 p.m. to 2 a.m., it's 1. In fact, let's take a look and just do a simple tabulation. Highlight the header, summarize, tabulate. And we're going to eliminate sort by frequency. So you have 00, which is midnight to 1. 0, 01 is 1 to 2, and here are the number of visits during that time period. So you quickly get the notion, if you want to go from midnight to 8 o'clock, you go from 0, 0 to 0, 7. If you want to get from 10 to 11, it's 22, and 11 to midnight is 23. So the answer to our question is basically just adding up the frequencies from here to the frequencies which are the sum of these people. Simple enough. But what we want to do is we want to recode all these times. So these times will be either a 1, if it's in the time interval of interest, which is 10 p.m. to 8 a.m., or a zero if these are in the time period not of interest. So we basically want to recode time cut. You 
left click on time cut and then you left click on recode and we're only going to be recoding one variable which is time cut we want to build a mapping table so we can say what codes to what so we're going to create a new mapping table as you can see the mapping table is called X and it has associated with it the date time 000102 and the new code. We're going to assign a new code. We're going to do that by toggling, toggle edit, and we're going to assign the ones we want to include a 1. After we enter it, we then hit enter. Assign this a 1. Enter. Now we've successfully identified between 12 midnight to 8 a.m. And now we have to go to the bottom of this table and we go there by this arrow. And clicking it again. Recognizing that the 22nd hour is the hour between 10 to 11. And the 23rd hour is the hour between 11 to midnight. So now we have recoded the ones we want with the letter number one. We hit toggle edit. And now we can recode all these hours that we want to a one. Let's go back to the data again, the ED visits. Let's click on time cut, which is what we want to recode. Let's click on recode. The mapping table we've just defined is x, and the new variable time we'll, we will call indicator. And now we're ready to hit OK. And what happens is we now have an indicator variable that it assigns to 0, 0, a 1, and all the hours that we wanted to include a 1. You want to tabulate on the indicator variable, you can rapidly see that. And you see that 22.5% of all the ED visits are during the time of interest, or 79,387 people. Now we're going to want to do some interesting tabulation work. So let's get rid of the indicators, or let's get rid of those ED visits that we're not interested in. Highlight the indicator, highlight the filters, left click on filter sort, and demand that the filter indicator expression equals equals to one. This is telling the program that we want to keep only those whose indicator is equal to one. We hit OK. Seven nine three eighty seven. Get only those with an indicator equals to one. Now we're ready to summarize the experience by hospital and by line of business or insurance. 
choose summary, we choose aggregate. We're going to group by hospital, and we're going to group by line of business. Holding the control key down as we click, so we can get two of them. We're going to aggregate, and it really in this case doesn't matter, on the indicator variable. Now what this program does is it applies this function to the intersection of hospital line of business to count all those of the same hospital and all those of the same line of business and apply the mean to all the values of indicator. Well that's not what we really want. We want to count. So instead of mean we type in length. We're going to give it an output table name, call it out, and we hit OK. Now, basically, what you see is you see commercial, Medicaid, Medicare, and which hospital it's in, and the count of the indicators. You can output this table if you'd like to a colleague by using I.O. and export. It will output into a CSV file. And now you can open that CSV file, which opens it in Excel, and you can share it with your colleague. And if they want, they can use all the neat tools of Excel, which includes such things as filter. And if they want to only look at line of business that are Medicaid, there you have it, Medicaid numbers. If you want to look at the number of patients who were on the commercial plans, go to the commercial table. What the number of people who are on Medicare? You have those. So by doing some simple manipulations in Scry, first making the date, then cutting the date, using hours as the way you're cutting date time, then mapping the cut hours to the to the indicator variable of one when you want to include it filter on the one, and then aggregate on the two variables that you want using the length function. Then you output to a CSV file so other people can actually use it, and you can share the CSV or Excel file.